So yesterday we built the text uh, text box and we have the input name type placeholder required. Now we have to think how we can we can pass this value and on change event. So today we will do this part and then I will give you some task about this one for tomorrow. Okay, let's let's see how we will be doing this part. So we have this my form. Right now I'll delete this login form. Let's concentrate only in the uh, let's concentrate only on the registration form. So maybe maybe I can have some kind of uh, steps. Maybe I'll say uh, in the registration this is the step one. So because on one page we'll first concentrate only on one one topic. Login and registration are two different topics, so I will not concentrate on two topics. So here I'll say step one where I will put I will put these fields name, email, text box, uh, password and confirm password and then I will I will create another step. So next step will also take some form with some configuration. Maybe I'll say this step two. Here I will put some gender and all which I have not thought of. I will do it in, in some time. Okay, right now step two will come here. Step one will come here. So maybe step two will have gender, uh, profession, education. Then step three will be upload photo. And step four will be something hobbies kind of thing. So some kind of this information. So even if I am step one, step two, step three, I will put in the common state variable. I will not create separate variable for step one, separate variable for step two, separate variable for step three. That will not happen. So we need to put the information in some kind of state variable as we have done it here. We have created this form values and state form values. Similarly, we have to create it here because we need always the state variable wherever we want to change the content. So here I will create constant form values and I'll say set form values equal to react dot use. Let me uh, let me increase the size. React use state and here I'll put curly bracket. So this is the first step that all the information which I have I should put inside this form values. So whatever information I have to put it, I have to create a key value pair here. Otherwise uh, it will give some warning that the control uncontrolled uh, uh, error is there, which I'll show you in some time. We already saw a few days back, I'll show you again. Then we have the name and then we have the password and then we have the confirm password. So I'm putting everything in this form element. I may add more fields for the step two, step three, step four, but right now I have only this number of fields. So when we want to pass the value uh, so here when we pass the my form in, in addition to the config value I will also pass the form values. So I'll say form values equal to form values. This, this is nothing but this form values. Okay. And another thing <coughs> another thing will be the set form values. So it depends whether I should send the set form values or not, whether I want to set the, I want to change the form values in the my form or I want to change it here. Because many times this change process is different for different form. So if I put it in my form, it will be always, you know, we have to follow the same standard. So in instead of putting it in the my form, I will put, 
I will create the change functions here. So whenever I want to change something in the form value, I will not do it in the my form, but I will do it here because every change, every form when I do change, it is different for different forms. Tomorrow I need to do uh, something tomorrow and today I need to do something tomorrow I need to do some other thing so that change function I will not put it in the my form I will put it here <coughs> only thing my form will display it and when I want to do some change I will do it here so one of the things which I need is one of the things which I need is kind of change this handle change Whenever someone will change the field, I want to change this set form values, which I will write it here. So I'll create a function here, constant handle change is equal to, and I will pass the event, and here I will change the form value. So I'll say set form values, inside it I will create arrow function and this will ha give me some default default value and it is nothing but the form values so when I return it I will take whatever is the current value of the form and then I will update with the new value to so how to update with the new value I will take event dot target dot name similar to what we have here event dot target dot name and it is equal to event dot target dot value so I will create handle change in my app and you know every application may have different way to handle the change that's the reason I'm not putting inside the my form but I will pass this handle change here as a pair of props okay so this is the handle change which I pass as a props since we are passing this too I need to take this in the my form and fix fix it here so here I will say form values will come and one handle change function will come for the text box now to set the value here in the text box I will say value is equal to something now what will be the value can anyone tell me what should I put inside this value I want your input what should I pass and I will pass the handle change equal to handle change that is the same function which I have here I will pass it here can anyone tell me what will be the value field I should put here so that when I change something I should be able to show the proper value in the text box See, even dot target dot value will go here inside this handle change. Form value has email name, password, confirm password. When someone will try to, when someone will try to change in the text box, we call the handle change, and handle change will update the handle change will update this form values. Now we have to display the email or name or password or confirm password in this text box so we need the value which should read from this form values and we are passing form values in the my form so even dot target dot value is not the right thing even dot target dot value will come inside the handle change so whenever someone will try to change this text box we call the handle change which has already the event dot target dot name equal to event dot target dot value but when we want to display it in the my form we have to display from this field for email we have to display email for name we have to display name for password we have to display password for confirm password we have to display confirm password value okay so form value dot email so how will I know email here this text box is generic 
right form value dot name and what is the name here here we don't have name variable anand is saying form value name it's correct but name we don't have here what we are getting here yes so we need to so if we are passing email we can access it with form values dot email if we are pass if we are in the name text field we can access it with the form value dot name and if we are in the password we can access with form value dot password and this form value i am passing it here so when i loop through it in this my form first time we have the email that is the name and name can be accessed with record dot name okay right kate is saying right so name can be accessed with the record dot name so here what we have to do we have to put form values and in the bracket we have to say record dot name so record dot name will be email in the first case name in the second case password in the third case and confirm password in the fourth case so we can access this form value with the key and key is record dot name now since we have value and handle change here in the text box we need to we need to update this input box also with this two values so let's access these two value here by value and handle change and when someone will try to access the value in the input field we need to put both as it is value is equal to value and handle change here handle change will not come what will come here what should i write down here so that when someone will change the input box i should change the state variable so what should i put it here on change so here always the input box will take on change as you have seen this is the page we we have to use the value and on change so my form should get value my form can get anything here i am passing value and handle change but the text box has input button input uh, field this input field will take on change and on change what should i put handle change so when someone will try to change the input box we are calling handle change handle change is coming from the my form my form is also taking the handle change from the app and app has a handle change so whenever we try to change it it will actually setting the things in the app not in the my form or text box my form and text box are only the carrier to take the handle change function and pass it into the my form and then to the text box when ultimately someone changes the input box it will call the handle change from the my form and from my form it will call handle change from app 6 this project 6 app.js where we have written the handle change here now we will verify it and then see how it goes now let's start to okay record i don't want to see record is let's remove it i don't want to see the record is but i want to see this form values so i'll do console dot log of form values okay so right now form values is empty when i will fill the email you will see form value has email of this one and then i can change the name you will see form value name is changed and password is changed and confirm password is changed <coughs> this is changed so we are actually setting the form values so when we call this input box it call handle change from the my form and my form call handle change from the app.js so handle change or any event which we have to put is to be in the app.js otherwise everything will be in the my form 
or the any other widget we have. So I'll give you five minutes to create this part and then create this part and then add these two things here. Once you are done, I will move to my form page where you can add this two variables here and you pass it here and then I will open the text box where you can do that more changes. So right now do this part and this part then I will open it. I'll give you five minutes and try to understand what we did because you did one mistake by saying by saying that my form will get event dot target dot name that's the reason I want you to pay attention what we are doing it. We created the state variables here we create the function and we pass this function and state variable to the my form and from my form to the text box. So when text box changes, it actually goes up, 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 level to the app.js and we get it in the handle change. Okay, five minutes to do this. So move down means what? This is the this is the top part and this is the form page. And then once you're done, I will open the my form. Okay, this my form has the values pass here and we are passing the value here. And then once you're done with this, I will open the text box here. In the text box, we pass these two things and then we update these two things here.
Okay, so you are getting the error. Let's try to debug it. So where you are getting this error? Now try to try to fix this error. Uh, you share the screen. I'll give you the presenter role, but I want you or anyone from the class should try to solve this problem. Okay, and if you cannot do in two three minutes, then I'll I'll help. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. I, can you take the presenter role and share the screen? Okay, wait. Let's see the page now and then you move it to okay so form values is saying it's saying on the 19th number line there is a problem okay so let's go there Okay, let's let's go through this whole file and first go to the app.js. Okay, let's check it here. Email name, password, confirm password, event dot target. Everyone look into the screen of Ashok Kumar and try to see where exactly he has done the mistake and we can solve that together. Let's check this soon. So before before we go further, don't even make the equal sign a space between the equal sign and the form value. Just try to make it same. You know, this will not this is not the error, but this is the standard when we do the props passing. Okay, in HTML you can put some space, but in in this just keep it like this. Okay, yeah, keep like this one. It's fine. Now let's see where is like the handle change is handle change form values is form values okay so this looks okay okay can you see the name password has a space there is a single quote go down go down in the configuration the name password as a space remove yeah check now now open the browser and see it's still same error okay so let's see there is some other okay can you open the console also let's see console and we'll put something in the console go up okay go up go up okay cannot read undefined go a little down so it's saying cannot read the property don't define in the my form array dot map. Okay, so let's go in the browser. Uh, let's go in the studio Visual Studio Code. Okay, in the my form you are cons doing console dot log of my form, and then you are doing the console dot of the record. This statement text box. Will you go to this and the change equal to this? Can you also do at the line number five, press enter and do the console.log of form values? Let's see what form values you are getting it. Yeah, here. Okay, let's see now. Go to browser and refresh it. Okay, form values is coming correctly in the top one, and then we have the my form with all four fields. Okay, it doesn't look any. Go down. Go down. Okay, my form is undefined. Okay, I see. My form is saying undefined. Go go to the console. Something I saw. Go up a little bit. Yeah. So my form is undefined. That means, okay. Just place only. Go there in your. Go uh, in the app dot js. In the app dot js. Go down. 
download yeah delete this login form right now because we have not updated it because of it it's giving the error yeah because if we put this so we need to update with all the values initially it was working fine because at that time I did not put all the code okay so now it's working though though why saying required 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 is required why thing that is required let's go there in your text box something is wrong okay input type equal to type name equal to name placeholder equal to placeholder a required equal to is required is fine value equal to value is fine on change equal to hand change. go up a little bit let's see is required type value handle change this looks good okay go to the my form let's see in the my form okay so placeholder is okay maybe your placeholder is required go to check your placeholder what placeholder you put in the app.js uh, in the configuration in the configuration yeah so you have put is required in the placeholder so in the placeholder it should be the name like enter confirm password enter password okay so you need to change the configuration a little bit let you can see my screen yeah if you if you change it it will work fine let me show you my screen okay okay so if you go to my app.js you will see is required as a boolean field with a true or false value and placeholder is something like this if you change this it will work fine <coughs> okay anand is still you are getting anand Okay, I'll give you the presenter role now. Let's see what you're getting it. Okay. Sh share your screen. Uh, first become presenter and then share your screen. Yeah. So you have email name. Okay, you are still getting cannot read the property email or form values undefined. Okay. Console dot log go up. So it is in the my form line number 20 click the my form here only in the browser only let's see in the browser where it's gone I think you close yeah click the my form 20 no 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 not this yeah okay this one it's fine so somehow you are not sending the form values correctly okay let's check your app.js Go up. Mm -hmm. You are sending form values equal to form value. Go up. Okay, form values, set form values. Okay, and go to your myform.jsx. So, in this, you are getting capital V, but when you are passing from app, it is small v. So you try to generally copy the things from values. Here you see V is capital, but when you're passing from the app.js, you're passing V small. Okay, so either make capital V or small V everywhere. So you just copy paste, don't type it. Yeah, put it. Yeah, now do it on the 20, line number 20. Yes, now it should work. Let's see. Yeah, it's working now. Console, go to console. Let's see if we're getting it. Yeah. Wait, now they know error. Okay. Okay. So experiment it with it, and if you cannot, uh, if you get error, just let me know tomorrow. And tomorrow I'll give you one more task. Uh, for this so like this we have the step one I will create a step two now I will create a step two now just watch the step two I will copy the my form 
and put it inside the step 2 and I will delete all the objects except one and in the first one I will say text area and I will name it as a description and I will label it as a description or about me okay let's label it name it as about me so maybe this is my biography I want to put uh, something about myself enter about myself and the required is this is not required if you want to put you can put it and type is not needed for text area so you need to build like I have created the text box as a component you have to build uh, another component called as a text area and in the my form okay let me close this one and in the my form we have case of text box you have to add one more case of text area so let let me write on the steps otherwise you will forget it okay so what you have to do create text area component like we have text box similarly you create a text area and this input will be replaced with the text area text area is same thing you need to pass value in the same way on change in the same way type is not needed name is needed placeholder is needed required is optional yeah required is also needed though you pass false from that place okay that's fine so create the text component a text area component with text area form field okay this is the first step second step add one case in my form dot jsx so you have to add the case right now we have only text box case you need to add the text area case and third thing you need to add the value in the state variable third thing this is the first thing and third thing will be add new key value pair in state variable okay and you can name it as about me so these three things you have to do and show me tomorrow though we will do all this thing tomorrow in the class but I want you to try it and if you fail you can see my code which I will show you tomorrow okay that's all for today